Hello art students! Today's lesson is going to be about spices and herbs. I chose to do a cheese biscuit because we both season the uh, dough with some spices and then we decorate with some herbs and they both add a lot of flavor to the cheese biscuits. So let's get started. I want to take the flour. I like to do this in a food processor but it can be done by hand. And then into the flour with salt. Um, I backed up half the salt on here and I'll provide the recipe for you um, because I like to top the top, uh, the garnish the biscuit with a little bit of Himalayan, pink Himalayan salt. So we back off the salt in the dough and then we add some salt on top. Let's go ahead and give that a whirl and blend that with salt and the spices. So what, what went in here was cayenne pepper and paprika pepper. So we know that cayenne is a, a spice and is sometimes labeled red pepper, and it is uh, ground from several different types of peppers, and it has a very pungent, and it can be extremely hot. So there's only a quarter of a teaspoon that's in here. And then I've also used a smoked paprika, which is also a red chili, um, and in this case was smoked and dried and ground into a powder for our lovely biscuits. Let's give it a whirl. Let's just uh, break it up and add it in chunks to make sure it gets nicely distributed and we don't overwork the dough. We don't want the dough to develop too much gluten. We want it to be crispy and light. So let's give this a couple pulses here. Good, it's getting nice and crumbly. Now I'm going to add our cheese. So this is 8 ounces of cheese. It's a half a pound. Because we need to add 16 ounces in a pound. So 8 ounces is a half a pound. Make 
sure you don't have any air pockets in there, nice and firm. I like to get it about the size of the paper. And then to form the cylinder, we will pull it forward and then round it back. Pull it forward. Size you want. So we're looking for a nice uniform log so that when we bake our cookies, they all bake at the same time. So having this log nice and even will allow us to have perfectly baked cookies or biscuits at the end. There we go. Looks good. And then I'll just roll this up. Nice and tight. Put it in the fridge for an hour. We'll come back, we'll slice them, we'll decorate them, we'll bake them, and we'll eat them. Very good. While the cheese biscuits are chilling in the refrigerator, I'm going to cover some spices and herbs. Let's talk about herbs and spices. So I have a variety of both right here, but I'd like to start with curry powder. So you don't take curry leaves and grind them to get curry powder. Uh, curry powder is a blend of spices and curry leaves can be used to season food as well, um, but they are not ground into curry powder. So curry leaves can be found on small trees in the Himalaya foothills, southern India and Sri Lanka. Um, but uh, these are different curry powders, and the curry powders and the blends um, were brought back from um, India, from Britons, back in the 19th century. So don't get those two things confused. Um, also, I'd like to talk about um, spice blends. So uh, there are many curry blends. Uh, right here you see I have an Indian, um, sorry, this one is called, yeah, Indian Yellow Curry. And this is a Moroccan spice blend. And then we also have a ginger curry, and this is a Malaysian curry. So lots of different curries. Also talk about paprika. So we use that in our um, cheese biscuit. This is a hot paprika. I did not use a hot paprika. I used a smoked paprika. Um, we also have saffron here. Uh, this is a ground cayenne. Here's your smoked paprika. Here's another spice bin. It's um, a Chinese spice spice it has anise in it it's really good and something we may be more familiar with and find in your own kitchen is a pickling spice and that's a blend of spices for pickling over here on my plate i have some herbs out of my garden so this is thyme we have sage oregano basil and rosemary and we're going to use all of those on the tops of our cheese biscuits to make them look nice and also taste good uh, one thing i don't have in my garden right now uh, is uh, chives so all of my chives are gone, um, but what really is lovely on these cheese biscuits are chives and also chive flowers with the blossoms. So then we have some spices. The so spices are the seeds and roots and stems of plants where herbs are the leaves. So this is cardamom and it's in a pod. We have some cloves. This is a little chili pod here and some saffron. Our biscuit dough has chilled for roughly an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the wax paper and start cutting. Nice, even slices. Usually I bake up these little ends for myself because they're not so perfect and then I can taste it. What I also like to do is roll this log around. This is a very sharp knife and we want to cut approximately half inch circles. And then I would turn it about a quarter a turn because as you push down, you want to make sure that you're keeping your dough more cylinder than square. So as we move that around, that'll ensure that we're not flattening just one side of the, the log here. Trying to get nice even cuts so that they bake evenly. just to see how many we get uh, half of a batch of dough here because we have another log in the refrigerator. Okay, 
Let's count. We got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So there's a dozen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So basically, we're going to get four dozen little uh, cheese biscuits out of this recipe. We are ready for the next step of our cheese biscuits. So I've taken some um, larger sea salt and ground it down in my using my um, pestle and mortar here so that I get exactly what I want because I'm going to garnish the top of our cheese biscuits with some salt. So this is just some sea salt and here I have some Himalayan pink salt that I'm going to use. This is egg wash and this is to make the um, herbs adhere to our little cheese biscuits. So it's just egg whites and water. Um, do a little research on egg washes and sometimes we use yolks. Uh, sometimes we use the whole egg, so that's a fun little project if you want to research that. I did that and uh, had a great time finding out why we use different egg washes for different applications in the kitchen. I also wanted you to notice how tiny our little decorative herbs are. So I, um, this is painstaking work here, but uh, it's done with a lot of love and the results are worth it. Um, but I didn't, I had to go through my herb garden and find just the wee littlest uh, leaves of, there's a little bitty sage leaf, it's so precious little baby sage. Um, and then and the, here's would be the basil and you can see that I've picked out tiny little basil leaves. We have both Thai basil and just uh, very general basil. And uh, let's get started. I also have a couple of toothpicks here to help put the decorative touches on our little cheese biscuits. So to get started, you just top the biscuit with some egg wash and use your creativity. You're so creative. All of your art students have uh, wonderful imaginations. This is a little Thai basil flower, and I'm just going to put Thai basil flowers on this little cheese biscuit here. And you can press them down a little bit. There we go. And for the next little cheese biscuit, I'm going to use my little baby sage. And you don't have to stick to one herb per cheese biscuit, but we're just getting started here. So I did try to find um, rosemary. It can become very woody where the stems are not tender at all and, and neither are the, the leaves. So I tried to find the most tender rosemary leaves. That's just a very tip off the very top. Let's spread him out a little bit. This is where your little toothpick comes in handy. Good. And I may even just put a little, there's a little sage leaf, and over here, why not, I'm going to turn them the other way and put a little basil leaf. So this, this biscuit, when you bite into it, will have um, basil, rosemary, and sage and we're just going to press that down so it stays. Now before that egg wash dries let's go ahead and top it with a little bit. I like using if there's any uh, blooms that I'm using or blooms I like to use a little bit of Himalayan pink to highlight it. We're just going to use some regular salt here. Don't, don't get too crazy with the salt because we don't want to be over salty. Just a little bit goes a long way. There's a little salt in the recipe as well. So now our thyme which are fun because I kind of I like to just kind of swirl those around. stem a little bit. Let's see if we can find another time here. Yeah. So we're just going to make almost like a little border around our little cheese biscuit. So fun. Yeah. And in the middle there I might just put um, a little, um, no let's not do that. Let's move on to the next one. I like it just the way it is. So this one's got, this is a little bit of time here. And then we're going to do some more of the flowers because those are what really makes it pretty. And next year I will be growing more chives so that I have those wonderful chives and chive blossoms. They're so pretty and they add so much flavor to the cookies or the biscuits. You can also do this with um, edible flowers and shortbread cookies and dust them with some um, sanding sugars. 
beautiful. That's actually where I got the idea to do the cheese biscuits, a savory version of what I saw on Facebook. Here's a tiny little Thai basil. How cute is that? Let's put a little thyme. We're gonna go all the way. This is a little oregano. which ones you salted as you go. I like to work uh, either left to right or right to left. Um, but if you work in a certain order, you won't double salt your biscuits. So you can see this is just have fun, be creative. I can't wait to show you the outcome and uh, wait until you taste them. They're amazing. The cheese biscuits are out of the oven and we're having tea for two. Let's give them a try. Spice the cayenne and the paprika. And then the herbs on top just take it to a whole nother level. Enjoy.